we are discussing about the differentiation and now our next topic is differentiation of infinite series differentiation of infinite series now how can we differentiate a function of infinite series if you have a function in infinite series you must convert it in implicit function first or logarithmic function then we can differentiate that for example what type of what type of function of infinite series let us see if you have y equal to square root of x plus square root of x plus square root of x plus and so on up to infinite this type of function is called infinite series so first we have to simplify this function then we can differentiate we have to find d by over dx in this we have to find d by over dx so we cannot differentiate this function directly why because we apply chain rule how many times we apply the chain rule not possible so first we need to eliminate this infinite then we can differentiate this type of function so first of all you know root over x plus root over x plus root over x plus and so on up to infinite is equal to y so this root x is repeated from this term so this complete term can also be written as y because this is also called the same given function because there is no meaning of infinite so this term can again written as y so therefore it can be written as y is equal to square root of x plus from where the term repeated root x root this is called y now we simplify this now dot 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 infinite eliminated now we can differentiate to find d by over dx so before differentiating first we have to simplify this square root function if we taking squaring both side squaring both sides we get y square is equal to x plus y y square equal to x plus y now it's very simple to differentiate and to find d by over dx very simple so if we differentiate both sides with respect to x differentiate both sides with respect to x we will get 2y d by over dx is equal to the derivative of x is 1 plus the derivative of y is d by over dx now we have to find the value of d by over dx in this so we can simplify this it can be written as 2y minus 1 multiply d y by dx is equal to 1 so therefore d, finally d by over dx can be written as 1 divided by 2y minus 1 this is the value of d y by dx this is the value of d y by dx by this way we can simplify each and every infinite function we first we have to simplify we have to eliminate this infinite and then we can differentiate this type of function let us see one more example if you have y is equal to x to the power x to the power x to the power x and so on up to infinite then find d by over dx this is also a kind of infinite series x to the power x to the power x to the power x up to infinite so in this case again we have to replace the sum term from y like this one this is called y 
So this function, this given function can also be written as y equal to x to the power y. Now we have variable to the power variable. In this case, we have to apply the concept of logarithmic differentiation. If you get variable to the power variable, you must apply the concept of logarithmic differentiation to simplify this. So now, if we are taking log both sides, taking log both sides, it can be written as log y equal to log x to the power y. So now this can be written as log y is equal to y log x. Right? Log y is equal to y log x. You can apply the property of log m to the power in this. And you know log m to the power is n log m. Now we can differentiate both sides to find d by x. So now, by the concept of implicit function, we can differentiate both sides with respect to x. It can be written as 1 by y d by dx is equal to, we can apply product to the, the right hand side, we will get y multiplied, the derivative of x is 1 by log x is 1 by x plus log x multiply the derivative of y in d y by dx. So now therefore, if we shift this d y by down, d y by dx in left hand side, we can take d y by dx common. It can be written as 1 by y minus log x whole multiply d y by dx is equal to y by x. Now we can take LCM y, it can be written as 1 minus y log x divided by y multiply d y by dx is equal to y by x. Now finally, we can write the value of d y by dx exactly. So finally, d y by dx can be written as y square multiply 1 minus sorry y square divided by x multiply 1 minus y log x. You can cross multiply y by we will get y square by x multiply this one. So this is the final answer. This is called d by dx in this. So this is the application of logarithmic differentiation, after that the application of implicit function. So in the infinite series, it's very simple, first you need to simplify that function. First you need to eliminate this infinite series and then we can differentiate. If you, when you uh, eliminate that infinite series, the question will be very simple, you can differentiate that. Now in finite series, some proof that type question can also be asked. Like, if we take a proof that type question, like if uh, y equal to x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by x plus and so on up to infinite. Then prove that then prove that d by dx equal to y divided by 2 by minus x. Now in this case right hand side in this case right hand side we have function of y as well as x, no problem. First we need to simplify, we need to eliminate this infinite series. Then we can solve this. So therefore, by the given function, we can write y is equal to x plus 1 by from where the function repeated from this step. Yeah, 
this one. This one again written as y. X plus 1 by x plus 1 by x plus 1 by x. Again, start with this x plus 1 by x, x plus 1 by x, and so on up to find. So this bracket can be written as y. This bracket can be written as y. Yes. Now we have to simplify this right hand side by taking LCM xy plus 1 divided by y. So it can be written as y square equal to xy plus 1. Yes. Now we can solve, we can differentiate both sides with respect to x, we will get the answer. If we differentiate both sides with x, differentiate both sides with respect to x, we will get 2y dy by dx is equal to, we have to apply product rule in this xy. So first function x multiply the derivative of y dy by dx and plus y multiply the derivative of x is 1 and plus 0. The derivative of 1 is what? 0. Now we can say dy by dx in left hand side we will get 2y minus x multiply dy by dx is equal to y. So finally therefore dy by dx can be written as y divided by 2y minus x. This is the value of dy by dx. Now this is the value of dy by dx. y divided by 2y minus x. This is the answer. Prove. By this way we can prove each and every question related to infinite series. If even the question is y is equal to root over log x plus log x root over log x plus root over log x plus root over log x and so on. The question is e to the power y to the power e to the power y to the power e to the power y. Yeah, we can simplify that. In every infinite series, you can apply this approach to eliminate that infinite series and then we can solve that infinite series. Very simple. Now, we will discuss the next topic, parametric function in the next class. This is a very simple, very short topic that is infinite series. Okay, thank you.